In eighth question, there are four parts. In first part, we have to show that triangle AMC is congruent to triangle BMD. In second part, we have to show that this angle DBC is right angle means I have to show here that angle DBC is 90 degree. In third part, we have to show that uh, triangle DBC is congruent to triangle ACB. So these two triangles are congruent. And in fourth part, we have to show that the CM is half of line segment AB. Now we read about given data. See, it is given that triangle ABC is right angle triangle. That means angle ACB is right angle. ACB is 90 degree. So first we will write given data. Angle ACB is 90 degree. See, it is complete statement is in right angle ABC, uh, uh, right angle at C means it, at a C uh, measurement of angle will be 90 degree. That's why angle uh, ACB is 90 degree. It is given in question. M is midpoint of hypotenuse AB. So M is midpoint of this hypotenuse AB. That's why AM is equal to BM. Reason is M is midpoint of AB. And uh, C is joined to M. This point C is joined to M. And it is produced to a point D in such a way that this side DM and uh, CM are equal. So it is also given that this side DM, this portion and CM are equal. So it is also given in question. And uh, next to that this point D is joined to B. This point D is joined to point B. Now these are the four parts that we need to prove in this question. So let's start the question. First, we have to show here that triangle AMC and BMD are congruent triangles. So we will take both the triangles. In triangle AMC and triangle BMD. We will find three relations so that we can prove that triangles are congruent. So if we focus on triangle AMC and triangle BMDC, AM and BM are equal, it is given in question. Okay, because M is midpoint. And in second part, it was also given that DM and CM are also equal. So this side DM is equal to side CM. Now it is easy to prove that triangles are congruent. We can see that this angle AMC and angle DMB are vertically opposite angles. So we can apply side angle side congruency and by side angle side angle congruency triangles will be congruent. So uh, first data is about AM. This AM of, tri of uh, triangle AMC is equal to BM of triangle BMD. So AM is equal to BM. Reason? It is given in question. Second is about angle. This angle AMC is equal to angle BMD. So angle AMC and angle BMD are equal. Reason they are vertically opposite angles. And third relation is about side. That side MC is equal to side MD. It is also given in question. So we are taking uh, two sides and one angle. So by side angle side congruency, triangle AMC is congruent to triangle BMD. This was first part of the question. In second part, we have to show that uh, DBC is right angle triangle. So we have to show that this angle DBC is right angle triangle. And uh, one thing is given that angle ACB is 90 degree. That's why angle C is 90 degree. Now see, we prove that triangle uh, AMC and triangle uh, BMD are congruent triangle. And we also know that corresponding parts, yani ki corresponding sides and corresponding angles of congruent triangles are equal. 
सो इफ आई टेक दिस एंगल सी यानी कि इफ आई टेक एंगल ए सी एम दिस एंगल ए सी एम इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी डी एम दैट्स वाई दिस एंगल सी इज इक्वल टू दिस एंगल डी सो बाय सी पी सी टी वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट एंगल ए सी एम इज इक्वल टू एंगल बी डी एम This we can say because triangle AMC and BMD are congruent triangle and their corresponding angles are also equal. Here I am taking ACM angle, so this angle ACM is equal to angle BDM. This is what I am writing here. Now, if you focus, if you observe this diagram, this is making alternate interior angle. This D and this part of C is making alternate interior angle. So we can say that angle ACM and angle BDM are also alternate interior angle. they are also alternate interior angles and we know if two alternate interior angles are equal that means lines are parallel and uh, if two alternate interior angles are equal and one transversal is intersecting two lines so these lines are parallel so from here we can conclude so line ac is parallel to line db Now, because these lines are parallel, so sum of co-interior angle will be also ninety degree. Sorry, so sum of co-interior angle will be also one eighty degree. So angle C, this angle ACB, this angle ACB plus angle DBC, यानी कि angle B. So angle DBC is one eighty degree. they are co interior angles you can see this line db and ac are parallel lines and uh, bc is transversal so in this condition co interior angles so angle c and angle b their sum will be 180 degree so acb plus dbc is 180 degree and uh, value of angle acb is 90 degree so 90 degree plus angle dbc is 180 So from here we can get value of angle DBC. One eighty minus ninety and one eighty minus ninety is ninety degrees. So angle DBC is ninety degree. This is proof of second part. Now in third part, we have to prove we have to show that triangle DBC and triangle ACB are congruent. So we'll take both the triangles in triangle DBC and triangle uh, DBC and triangle ACB. In these triangles, we can see that this side BC is common in triangle DBC and triangle ABC. BC side is common. and uh, angle b and angle c are also 90 90 degree so they are also equal and in first part we prove that triangle amc and uh, triangle bmd are congruent so uh, by cpct we can also conclude that ac and dm are also equal so we got relation for side uh, db this db will be equals to ac we got angle b relation for angle b and angle c they are 90 degree and uh, this side bc is common in both the triangles so we can apply side angle side congruency and by side angle side congruency triangles are congruent so in triangle dbc and acb first bc equals to cb common side then angle b and angle c are 90 degree so name of angle b will write here is angle dbc equal to angle acb they are 90 degree both and uh, earlier we proved that triangle amc and bmd are congruent triangle so by cpct because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal uh, we got relation for this side ac and db 
है ना सो वी कैन से दैट हेयर आई विल यूज डी बी डी बी साइड इज इक्वल टू साइड ए सी ऑफ द ट्राइंगल so we got two sides we got one angle this angle is between these two sides so by side angle side congruency triangle dbc is congruent to triangle acb in fourth part we have to show that cm is half of ab so to prove this question uh, here we prove that triangle dbc and acb are congruent so by cpct or we can say because ang uh, triangle dbc is congruent to triangle acb so from cpct and by cpct we can say that both the hypotenuse are equal so we can conclude that cd is equal to साइड ए बी सी डी इज इक्वल टू साइड ए बी और बी ए ना सी डी कैन बी वी कैन ब्रेक सी डी इन टू पार्ट वी कैन राइट सी डी इज इक्वल टू एम सी प्लस डी एम एम सी प्लस डी एम या एम सी प्लस एम डी विल गिव एस दिस कंप्लीट लाइन सेगमेंट सी डी सो एम सी प्लस एम डी इज इक्वल टू ए बी एंड इट इज गिवन दैट डी एम and cm are also equal so mc and uh, dm they uh, both will give us mc and mc you know instead of this md or instead of this dm i can also write cm so we can say uh, cm uh, i am rearranging this mc uh, i can write this is cm plus this dm can also we can also write it is also cm so cm plus cm is ab now cm and cm will give you 2 cm 2 cm is ab will transpose this to other side so if we transpose this to other side this two will come in denominator so cm is half of ab this is what we need to prove in this question